Today, we will talk about the current account, which is a key component of the balance of payments and represents a country's international transactions. The current account records a nation's transactions with the rest of the world, specifically its net trade in goods and services, its net earnings on cross-border investments, and its net transfer payments, over a defined period, such as a year or a quarter. The current account deficit of the United States in Q2 of 2023 was negative $212.1 billion. The current account is one half of the balance of payments, the other half being the capital account. While the capital account measures cross-border investments in financial instruments and changes in central bank reserves, the current account measures a country's trade balance, net earnings from cross-border investments, and net transfer payments. A positive current account balance indicates that the nation is a net lender to the rest of the world, while a negative current account balance indicates that it is a net borrower. Since the trade balance is generally the biggest determinant of the current account surplus or deficit, the current account balance often displays a cyclical trend. The exchange rate also exerts a significant influence on the trade balance, and by extension, on the current account. Nations with chronic current account deficits often come under increased investor scrutiny during periods of heightened uncertainty, which can put further pressure on the currency. Some countries will split the capital account into two top-level divisions. In this context, the financial account measures an increase or decrease in international ownership of assets, while the capital account measures financial transactions that do not affect income, production, or savings. A country's trade balance is generally the biggest determinant of whether the current account is a surplus or a deficit. Exchange rates are another variable that can impact the current account. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The current account represents a country's imports and exports of goods and services, payments made to foreign investors, and transfers such as foreign aid. 2. The current account may be positive, a surplus, or negative, a deficit, Positive means the country is a net exporter and negative means it is a net importer of goods and services. 3. A country's current account balance, whether positive or negative, will be equal but opposite to its capital account balance. 4. The US has a significant deficit in its current account. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.